in our special series on drunk driving. Today we bring you the story of a man who took an accident that left him partially paralyzed as a personal challenge. He's now dedicated himself to making sure that no one else goes through what he did. Twenty-seven-year-old Harman Singh is a man with a mission, mission to make our roads safe for everyone. Nearly 12 years ago, he was paralyzed from waist below when the car in which he was traveling met with an accident in Himachal Pradesh. His career as an engineer came to an end, and he decided that no one else should meet the same fate. His organization arrived safe, which has a team of about 30 volunteers which is down to young people. We, we all enjoy going out to the party. What is the solution for that? So you can have, you can have... A he conducts road shows and has also designed a website for the Chandigarh police. They have to prove a point to the others that, okay, I'm better than you because I can take more drugs and then still be able to drive. So trying to touch them at the right point, uh, we have a lot of discussions and the positive thing that we have found out that they are now ready to listen. We need a sustained effort, but as we were just talking about, it's not only youngsters. This thing is setting all kind of social barriers or let's say age barriers you can say. The message was hit home four months ago, Kulwant Singh was driving home after drinking at a party when his car hit a road divider. His wife suffered serious spinal injuries, losing forever her ability to walk. Today, the businessman is one of the many who have extended support to Herman's cause. <laughs> हर चीज़ जो बनी है वो लिमिट के अंदर में और आवर लिमिट के अंदर तभी प्रॉब्लम है तो इसकी इसकी जैसे क्या लगता है इसके अंदर हास्य लोग के जा सकते हैं बट जो प्रॉब्लम है मेरे साथ हो गया किसी के साथ ना हो इसलिए लाइफ सेव रखिए इसी को कंट्रोल रखिए एट पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी वी मेट इंटरप्रीट एंड इस फ्रेंड्स but what's worse is that often the person who is the most drunk wants to be behind the wheel. But the influence is very, I don't know what the reason behind this. Might some uh, doctors, they can tell them about this. The point is that when we uh, drink, uh, we just want to do drive. We just want to drive. Rad drive or we just want to, you know, fresh air with high speed. <laughs> That's the main point I should achieve. Many students have switched from liquor to drugs and said it is, as these are easily available and cheap. Could I show you that cold spicy capsule where I am with it, as back to where I am. I am not going to be able to do it, but I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to do it, but I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to do it, but I am not going to be able to do it. So that's why I am not going to be able to do it. According to a study conducted by Herman, the number of young people driving under the influence of drugs is increasing. He says, apart from alcohol, the trend to combine drugs and driving must be checked. We don't have a lot of education or enforcement about uh, driving under influence, which includes various types of drugs that people are taking and the kind of medications and medicines that are easily available now. Even as we are trying to control the menace of drunken driving, there is another one beginning to stare at our face, that of young people driving under the influence of drugs and medication. In Chandigarh with camera person, yes, Pastor, Vikram Sahajri for NDC.